A new safety report shows aggravated assaults and drug violations on the rise at the Ohio State University area. We have told you about a lot of crime or a lot about crime alerts following home invasions and armed robberies of students off campus. But this report deals specifically with what happens on campus, especially in residence halls. 10 TV's Tanisha Millette joins us live from OSU with more on what the numbers look like. Tanisha. Well, Kristen and Jerry, by law, Ohio State must release this information every year, and it details crimes and violations that happen on campus. According to the report in 2012, some were slightly down, but in two areas, crimes were up. On the Oval at Ohio State, members of the Peace Corps Club raise funds for children in Africa. Help the oh. library in Zambia. But they say they're aware of what's happening around campus. The increased number of crime alerts that we have gotten. Those crime alerts are for incidents off campus. Now Ohio State's annual campus security and fire safety report details what's happening on campus. While most crimes were about the same in 2012 or dropped slightly, aggravated assault reports on campus rose to four in 2012 from zero in 2011. The report says two of those assaults in 2012 were in the dorms. There were five reports in 2010. There were 67 arrests for drug law violations on campus in 2012 compared to 63 in 2011 and both were up from 50 arrests in 2010. For some students the report gives them a sense of security. As a student I feel really safe on campus. Um, like I was saying earlier, my day is really like controlled. I'm in a routine. I know where I'm going and when I'm going to it. So for the most part, I feel safe. Others say it's still incomplete. Certainly, I think there are more rapes on campus now and um, they are not getting the coverage they deserve. Although this is a great uh, guide for crime statistics and, and allows one to look at to see, you know, what the crime rates are compared to other universities around the country. It's also a tremendous resource guide. Deputy Chief Richard Mormon says the 99 page report also includes information about how alerts are given, student safety services and self defense classes. Mormon says the university wants students to be proactive in their own safety and to use this report as a guide. Students say that's something they intend to do. Have a great rest of your day. Now this annual report was released in compliance with the Cleary Act and that was named after a student at Lehigh University who was raped and murdered after a series of alerts did not go out following campus thefts. It's believed that had those alerts been sent out, she would have been aware of some of the violence going on on campus and she might have been more cautious. Live at OSU, Tanisha Millette, 10TV News.